You know what's funny, man? Like, every dude we work out to, like, you know, I'll get muscles, I'll get chicks. The more muscular and bigger you get, the less chicks you pick up, man. <laughs> Muscle and strength, what's up? It's Sadiq. I'm about to take you through a full day of eating. When I do my cardio, I, I do my cardio instinctively. So, I could plan to go do cardio 40 minutes, light intensity. A good song will come on, and I might fucking turn a steady state cardio into a high intensity, you know, or... So you never know what you get with cardio, but my goal is to go there, do 20 minutes on the Stairmaster, medium to high intensity, and go home. All right, guys, here's a recap of meal number one. I got one cup of liquid egg whites. What I did is I took my favorite veggies and I pretty much just scrambled them inside. Got bell peppers, spinach, and onions. And for carbohydrates, cream of rice. And I got this water close by because my goal today is to drink a minimum of two gallons. So I'm gonna start early. You know what's funny, man? Like, every dude we work out to, like, you know, I'll get muscles, I'll get chicks. The more muscular and bigger you get, the less chicks you pick up, man. <laughs> like, I started out at like 140 pounds, no chicks. 155, a little bit more attention. 170 to 175, fucking prime. 185, they're kind of like getting a little scared, you know? It's a point of diminishing returns, guys. Chill at the 175 mark. Don't go crazy. So I don't even feel like eating chicken this morning, so I have eight ounces of egg whites instead. I'm just gonna drink it. So I've been using this pink Himalayan sea salt. Put a three quarters of a tablespoon in there. But cream of rice is so dense, it packs so much in a little package that when you eat it, you don't really have that bloated stomach feeling you would if you ate two cups of white rice. You wanna peak perfectly. You know, the guys in the early 90s, they didn't peak two weeks before the show. They didn't peak a week before the show. They peaked the day of the show. You know, Ronnie Coleman did that. Kevin Lavrone, Flex Wheeler, like these guys peak the day of the show. So now with social media, everyone wants to rush it and they want to look good for social media and show people that they're ready because they know everyone's watching each other's social media and it's ruining what they have going on because they're really competing for social media instead of competing for looking good on stage. So I think that's what's wrong these days. We got a pre-workout meal. So you see there's no carbohydrates. I just got three and a half ounces of broccoli, eight ounces of chicken breast, and I got my infamous pre-workout pickle. For you guys that know, you know. The reason I eat pickles is because pre-workout, okay? What do you need to consume pre-workout to have the best pump? Sodium. What are pickles loaded with? Sodium. So it just helps me get a better contraction, a better pump in the gym. I've never been the type of person that could just like eat and like go straight to the gym. I need like 45 minutes to an hour to digest, man. I just feel like there's so much going on in my stomach that uh, really affects my overall pump in the gym. Let's 
work, one more. Back that way. Push through, push through, push through, push through. Four, come on, let's get four. Awesome, come on, drive. Yes. One more, nice negative, nice negative. So, post-workout, I'm not one of these guys that likes to carry around a cooler full of food. In fact, I like to eat every meal fresh. But in the exception, when I don't have time to, I do 50 grams of whey protein with half a cup of gluten-free oatmeal. So if you let it soak for about five or 10 minutes, the oatmeal actually softens up and it tastes pretty good. Last meal of the evening. You got one whole cup of egg whites with some spinach, bell peppers, and one tablespoon of the most delicious almond butter that there is, Justin's. All right, guys, that's it. You are in my house. You're watching exactly how I cook and how I eat. Now, I gotta kick you all out. Peace out.